Hello everybody, and welcome to another Weston Automotive installation video. Today we'll be installing part number 40-3685-45-3680, the Sportsman Grill Guard for the 2014 and up Chevy Silverado 1500. The Sportsman Grill Guards are a solid one-piece construction, feature thick rubber protectors that line the uprights, and also have our newest feature, the dual hood bar. They also come in two finishes, our durable black powder coat, as well as our extremely corrosion resistant polished stainless steel. Now let's go ahead and get the packaging opened and see what's inside. At first glance you may notice that the cardboard of this package is very thick and it is also secured with heavy duty staples. This is all to ensure that your product arrives to you completely undamaged, but Weston does not stop there. Once you get the box opened, you will notice your grill guard is completely wrapped in foam and plastic and your hardware kit is also put in a smaller individual cardboard box. Once you get that box opened up, you will notice that your hardware, along with your install sheet, and all of your brackets are individually wrapped in a thick poly bag. Again, all of this is to ensure that your product arrives to you completely undamaged. And here are all the tools you will need to complete installation, as well as all the contents of your hardware and bracket kit laid out. Please refer to your install sheet to make sure that everything listed is present and free from damage. Also, we recommend you read through the install sheet a few times to make sure you understand all steps before attempting installation. Once everything has been confirmed to be present and free from damage, we can then go ahead and begin installation. We will be starting our installation on this 2014 Chevy Silverado from the front of the vehicle underneath the hood. Once we get ourselves underneath the hood, the first thing that we're going to want to do is pull up all of these plastic clip fasteners that are holding on this plastic radiator cover. Once we get all of these clips removed, we can then take off the plastic radiator cover and set it aside until we are done with installation. Now that we have the cover out of the way, we can remove these factory fasteners from the top of the grill shell. Please save these fasteners as you will need them later to reinstall your grill. Next, the filler panel from the front of the vehicle is going to have to be removed. We can start by removing this factory fastener, and then there is also another factory fastener located up at the top where an arrow is pointing that must be removed as well. It is just a little bit hard to see in this video. Now that the fasteners are removed, we can begin removal of the filler panel by pulling gently on it from the side. To fully release the filler panel, you then must come underneath the vehicle and pop loose all of these plastic tabs that are retaining the filler panel to the grill. Once all that has been done, we can then just simply pull on the filler panel, remove it, and place it aside to be reinstalled later. Next comes the actual removal of the grill shell itself. We must remove all of these factory fasteners from the bottom of the grill shell. There are four in total. Once we get those factory fasteners removed, we can then remove the entire grill shell. We will accomplish this by lightly pulling up on the tabs on the top of the grill, then gently pull outwards to remove the grill. Now once the grill has been removed, starting from the passenger side, we can remove this factory bumper bolt. Once you have this bolt removed, do not discard it as we will be using it to install the lower support bracket. Once it is removed, take your lower support bracket and loosely attach it to the bumper. Leaving these fasteners loosely attached will aid in adjustment and alignment of the brackets and the grill guard later. Go ahead and repeat this step for the driver's side. Now with both support brackets loosely attached, we must measure from the center ridge of the bumper to the outer edge of the brackets and adjust the brackets to approximately 20 and 5 8 inches. Then using your torque wrench, torque down the bumper bolts to 50 to 55 foot pounds. The torquing process is in place to make sure that we don't over tighten the bolts and also to make sure that the bolts do not come loose. Now we can begin to reassemble the grill. Take the grill shell and slide it up and over the radiator support and make sure it snaps into place. Then we can take the factory fasteners that were removed from the bottom of the grill shell and reattach them at this time. When all the bottom fasteners are tightened down we can then move up to the top of the grill shell and reattach all the fasteners that we removed from there. Now we can go ahead and reinstall the plastic radiator cover. And now last but not least for the grill of the vehicle, we must reinstall the filler panel. Go ahead and reinstall the filler panel the same way that it was removed, and once you are done, tighten all the fasteners at this time. Now we can move underneath the vehicle and begin the removal of this lower plastic valance. We will start by removing all these bolts that face downwards only. Once all the bolts have been removed, you can then remove these white plastic clips. Then once the white plastic clips are removed, you can then remove the valance. This plastic valance can either be discarded and not be reused, or must be trimmed to fit the lower brackets once they are installed. Now with the valance removed, you are ready to begin the installation of our mounting brackets. Starting underneath the vehicle on the driver's side, insert one nut plate into the circular hole in the frame. Make sure the threaded hole ends up over the hole in the frame. 
Then take your large flat washer, your plastic retainer, and place them halfway down the stud in that order. Then take the whole package and thread it up into the previously installed nut plate, leaving these loosely attached. Now take your driver's side mounting bracket and attach it to the previously installed stud using the according hardware. Again, leave this hardware loosely attached as it aids in adjustment and alignment of the brackets later, which makes installation easier. Once we have all these fasteners loosely attached, then repeat all these steps for the passenger side. Now we will be removing this factory bumper bolt in order to install the lower support bracket. Once we have this bolt removed, go ahead and use it to loosely attach the lower support bracket to the bumper. Now, with assistance, please take your grill guard and place it in between the previously installed support bracket and mounting brackets. Once we've got the grill guard placed in between the brackets, go ahead and use the mounting hardware that is included with your kit and loosely attach your grill guard to these brackets at this time. And here is a view from the other side of the bracket showing the rest of the hardware being attached. Now we can attach the grill guard to the upper support brackets, but first we must coat the threads of the hardware with anti-seize to prevent them from galling or seizing as they are stainless steel. Now take your grill guard and align it with your upper support bracket and then take your hardware and loosely attach it at this time. Now you can align and adjust the grill guard as you like and then we can begin tightening the hardware. Now using the appropriate ratchet, socket and open end or closed end wrench, go ahead and tighten all of the hardware that attaches the grill guard to the lower brackets. Now we can move to the upper support bracket and using the appropriate ratchet, socket and allen wrench for the button head bolt, tighten the bracket to the grill guard at this time. Once everything is tightened, we can then begin the torquing process. Torque all M10 fasteners to 30 to 35 foot-pounds and torque all M12 fasteners to 50 to 55 foot-pounds. Now once the torquing has been completed, the installation is now finished. Thanks everybody for watching the Western Automotive installation video for part number 40-3685-45-3680, the Sportsman Grill Guard for the 2014 and up Chevy Silverado 1500. Weston also offers part numbers 57-93680-57-93685, the HGX winch mounted grill guards for the 2014 and up Chevy Silverado 1500s as well. Please visit www.westonautomotive.com for any of your other aftermarket accessory needs.